life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Gals and guys. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Tracy Brown, Tracy Brown. Tracy Brown Life. Tracy Brown Life. Tracy Brown. Tracy Brown Life. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. My favorite symbol is the tree of life. Built for tough. Hi, YouTube. How are you guys today? How's everyone doing? Hi, Tiffany Intuition. Tiffany Intuition, when I noticed on TikTok that your name has changed, when are you going to change your name on IG? Are you thinking about it? Oh, I love the ladybug. Oh, and the lizard. Oh, she's showing me everything. <laughs> she's showing me my experience here. The lizard, the turtle. They got big turtles here. Hi, LaShonda. Hi, Nicole. Um, the palm tree. Prayer. I love that. Thank you. I really love anything with any prayer. Hi, ugly duckling. How are you? Um, am I too low today? All right. This Friday, plus the logo. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got this ready for you guys. Can't mess with me, because I am doing my think it is to prepare for you guys. So let's just get you on. How's everyone doing? This stuff, this makeup. Um, did it come on? Doesn't sound like it came on. Let me check the settings. Settings. Bluetooth. iPod. Looks like the iPods are connected. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Escribipo Gems. Oh, oh, I love that name. Can you guys hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. I know you guys can hear me, IG, because this iPad doesn't have the same issues as this iPad. Um, can you guys hear me? I'm doing good. How are you, Tracy? Fine. And yes, you can hear me much better. You can hear me. All right. All right. That's all I'm looking for is much better. Hear much better. Good, 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 good. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Medusa. Hi, Medusa. Hi, Shay. How are you all? Um, just so you guys know, I am on vacation, but it is a working vacation. Um, I actually don't know how to not be metaphysical, so I cannot um, stop helping people. So if I'm going to help people, I might as well do my job, right? So, oh, hi, Nicole from Australia. Hi, sweetie. I got a lot of people in Australia, by the way, Nicole. The UK and Australia love me. Okay. So, um don't be afraid to call for a reading. I'm not vacationing. I'm living someplace else. And I've mapped out enough time every single day to do me. So don't, don't worry about me. Y'all got issues? Sign up for a reading. Now, I telling IG, I really use coins. Coins is not my game. I don't keep it in my purse. They weigh you down. 
right? Everything I use is via the cards. I really have changed on me. And I really feel sorry for my homeless people who I used to give money to. I don't hold on to money anymore. And so I just have to say, I'm sorry, I don't have, I really don't have the money because I really practice not carrying money around. Well, I'm in a different location and these people like money better, right? So you want to respect how they make their income here, right? And so I got all these quarters for the washing machine. And tell me if I'm wrong, but has anybody ever seen 2020 quarter National Park American, oh, American Panda, but it looks like a bat, American Panda. Has anybody seen a coin that looks like a bat? And then there is another one here that is Tom Henry. Oh, this is Maryland. Maryland. Okay. There's another one here that says Puerto Rico. Has anybody ever seen? A, yes, a quarter with Puerto Rico on it. I, I just have never, never. Um, use coins. So this is all new to me. And this is 2009. Have I not been using money for that long? Um, and then there's another one, Marsh Billings Rockefeller. Land stewardship. I wonder what that's about. You know, I used to study coins and I was going to try and be a collector of coins. But it takes so much patience to collect coins. When I was a kid, that's all I wanted to do was collect coins. But it takes so much patience. And when you're broke and your mother sees you collecting coins, they take your money. You can't collect coins. Because that valuable coin that you uh, found or that valuable $2 bill, some of y'all like to collect $2 bills, that valuable $2 bill, your mother took it. I used to collect, seriously, I because I'm a little weird, right? And I, I say weird in the best possible way. Like I love being weird, right? Not weird, like I'm so confused, like weird, like purposely designed weird. And so some of the $2 bills had red and green and silver and black stamps on it. And I was collecting all of that. But when you come from a broke household, where's your $2 bills, Tracy? The ones that I'm saving? Where's your two dollar bills, Tracy? Well, the problem, Mama, is you're gonna spend it as a two dollar bill when they have more value. Where's your two dollar bills, Tracy? All right, over there. <laughs> was that you too, Marie? Oh my God, I will save coins. My mom will use it for laundry. Right. I still have $2 bills. I gave my last $2 bill. I gave it to someone. I wonder if I gave it to my son as a gift. I gave it to someone, my last $2 bill, because it was just, it was useless. And then when I got older, old enough, because $2 bills were rampant when you were younger, right? When I got older, I used to go to the banks and ask if they had $2 bills. You got any $2 bills? Because the banks hated $2 bills. They hated it. So they would just collect it and put it off the site. And I'd be like, you got any $2 bills? But over time, that crazy hobby went away when you're just doing life, right? You're just doing life, you're trying to find yourself. You can't keep, you can't keep collecting $2 bills. You're trying to survive day by day. 
Right. You had that aunt that would give you a two dollar bill and wouldn't you take it and be like, um, Auntie. But there was so much value and care and concern in that two dollar bill. And I think that's what this is all about. Silver dollars. Yes. I used to collect silver dollars. Yes. And the um who was it? The was it the silver dollar was the big one. But then there was the 50 cent one that was the little one or vice versa. I used to collect all of that. I used to have a book where you could collect the coins. But my mama would be like, where's that book, babe? Where's the book? And you're like, um, that took a lot of work, mama. And back in the day, you didn't say that to your mom. Right, you would get smacked for even the look I just showed you. Like, boom, smacked in your face. So I'm kidding when I say, "Mama, you know, it took a lot of work." She would not want to hear that. Bang, smack, and the smack would be so hard you fall off the chair. And I know why now because I just embarrassed her for being broke. But back in the day, everybody was broke. Am I lying? Everybody's broke back in the day. But if you have a proud mama and you call her out, she's going to smack the shit out of you. I'm not saying that's okay. But y'all know y'all were raised with those kind of mamas. By the way, I say this all the time. I'm going to say it again. Mothers, be good to your daughters. Who needs to hear that message? Don't call them a bitch. Don't call them trashy. Don't call them hoes. If they wear a short skirt, so what? That's what womanhood is about. Be good to your daughters. Who needs to hear that message? Tiffany's like, my mom needs to hear that message. <laughs> oh, you got a West Indian mom. So I already know Susan B. Anthony. By the time Susan B. Anthony came along, I couldn't say no. But Susan B. Anthony's right. Hi, Sarah. You had one of those books for collecting coins, too? Yes. And every once in a while, because I'm a a late person, so I'll be up like one, two o'clock in the morning, and you get those weird commercials where they're like, hey, commemorative coin. And to this day, I'm like, they had a commemorative Obama coin. I didn't get it because I was like, I'm past saving coins, which in hindsight, I'm glad I, I didn't save, you know? Ah, <sighs> yeah. Who needs to hear that message? And I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious because I think what I saw with the whole Mo thing is that women, black women don't like black women. That's what I think I saw the most. And if black women don't like strangers, how can you love your daughters who aren't going to follow your rules? I'm just saying. We have to be very, very mindful about who I am and what I am saying to you and being mean and trifling and following celebrities that are mean and trifling is one of the saddest things I saw in this bonnet situation. You guys are ugly and I have fear for you guys that have daughters. Just thought I'd bring it up for the 20th time. I will never change my position on women being kind to women. I will never change that position. And if you can't be kind to a stranger, you can't be kind to your own daughter. Right.
Right. Because let me tell you something. You know what daughters do when they grow up? They get prettier than you. They do. And when you stand next to your daughter, the guys will look at her. They do. And can your trifling ass as a mother handle that? Huh? Or maybe, maybe you never liked your daughter because your husband didn't stick, the boy, the baby, baby daddy didn't stick around. Who am I talking to? Who needs to hear this message? That maybe something needs to change with the Negro solstice and everybody finding themselves and everybody wakening up. One comment on YouTube took all of you way back, all of you. Now, I don't have a daughter. I don't know what that feels like. I know I've been a daughter. And I know that was a problem for my mother growing up. And that side, because I saw it. And the best thing I could do was shun away from the attention I used to get because I got a Coca-Cola body. I got that, you don't know what a Coca-Cola body is? Banging, banging, that's my body. That's how God made me. That's how she made me. That's how my dad made me. Banging body. Don't get mad now. Don't get mad when I'm 14, thicker at 15. I'm not even noticing the men. You are mother. I love you. Well, my mom was kind of different that way. She actually, you know what my mom changed? My mom was wonderful until I was about 13. And then she kicked my dad out. And then I became competition for her. My oldest sister was like, I'm out. My, my oldest sister left. She wasn't about to put up with this shit. And I get it now. I never got it for years because I felt abandoned. I was like, how could you leave us? Like. She's, she's turned crazy, but I realized that she was always crazy, but she contained herself as long as my dad was in the house. The minute my dad wasn't there and she invited him to leave, then everything changed. I have this short span that has affected my whole life. A, a few years affected my whole life because when she was ready, it was, that, it was in those few years I never heard I love you. Prior to that, I heard it. Hi, Dawn's Light. All right, I just thought I'd bring it up because I'm watching social media and I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of most of you that think it's okay to call out people. I'm ashamed that y'all are trying to shame others. I'm ashamed. And maybe you're just not my cup of tea. Right? Maybe you're just not my cup of tea. I'm here to help you. Ask anybody. When I do my readings, everyone ends with, oh, my God, I feel so much better. I have people call me sick, like sick. And in the end, they're like, oh my God, it feels so much better. That's what I look forward to. Do better, black women. Do better. Y'all know I will call out white women on a dime. Y'all know it. I am not afraid to call out white women. Y'all are. All right? I don't. I'm not, I have no fear. So if I can call out white women, I can call out my black women. Y'all watch me call out white women. Do you? So yeah, I'm gonna call you out too. Cause what I saw these this past week and a half, 
I'm I'm sad. I'm sad to be a black woman right now. I never thought I would say something like that. Never. Y'all have really taken a step way back with this bonnet thing. So I hope and pray that a lot of you are issuing lip service, you bunch of cowards. That's what I'm hoping, that it's just a bunch of lip service, that you disagree to agree. That's what I'm hoping. But I hope you have a backbone. And I hope those of you with all that lip service and the bonnet bullshit, I hope you treat your daughters well. I hope you treat your sisters well. All right? I hope you're happy inside of you. I hope you recognize you're pretty the way you are. I don't have a Coca-Cola body no more, but ain't nobody can tell me shit. I'm just saying. Well, getting bad in your teen years is mandatory. You're supposed to get bad in your teen years. Every generation has a rebellion era. That's why you look at the bigger planets like Jupiter and Neptune. Those are the bigger planets to show what that generation will be doing, fighting for, growing, copying. You're supposed to be bad in your teen years. That's the only time you get to create your identity. The funny thing, though, about rebelling in your teen years is that that whole generation acts alike. That's the funny thing. Like, I'm never going to act like that generation. And yet you all act alike. It's so funny. I love it. What? uh, That's me all day, Ice. All right. Bam. Thank you. Hey, Deborah. I always love to see Deborah on. Guys, I love Deborah Hookie. I talk about Deborah Hookie all the time. So Deborah's a medium. She gives classes on how to psychically develop all that stuff that you're feeling inside, but you can't tell anybody, right? And there's a group that you could belong to. I know Deborah Hookie's group, D-E-B-R-A Hookie.com. Deborah Hookie. And for YouTube, I'll put it in the um, in the uh, in the description. All right. So attend some of her classes for psychic medium, psychic slash medium development. Right. All those impressions that you get, learn to grow it. Right. Be more metaphysical, because if you're more metaphysical, guess what? You won't be worried about who's wearing a bonnet. You know? I like my people much better. We're better than than you all. My people, we're better than you. I said it. I said it. We're better than you. We're not out here trying to judge people. Mm-mm. We don't judge. Mm-mm. We're like, ah, that works for you? Yeah, okay. Okay. Works for you. <laughs> all right. If you haven't heard it today all your life, I love you. I love you. Accept it. Take it. Take it in. I love you. And then I want you to say, I love me. Who said that to themselves lately? I love me. Who's been saying that to themselves lately? Because maybe you need to just say it to yourself. Remember, there used to be a, a thing where you would hug yourself and they would say, just say I love you. Just say I love you. Well, that kind of shit actually works. Hi, pretty pretty pink, you know, I adore me, just say, I love me and mean it. And by the way, when you say, I love me, don't worry about your sins. 
don't worry about why I would love myself, but I slept with three husbands last week. Don't do that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just say, I love me. Just trigger a response that could create a better you. I walk in grace. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks of me. I love me. Thank you, Ice. That's so cool. Thank you. See, Ice already got it. Ice is like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I prefer that Ice. I prefer the strength that comes around it. Right? You mean it. When you say, I don't give a fuck, you mean it. Big energy, Tracy. Am I showing big energy today? Oh, thank you, Dawn's Light. I have self-love, right? I love me. I love me. I love me. I love me. I'm going to do a healing class in July, and we're going to start saying how much I love me. I love me. Look at my um my my uh my locks. Look at that curl. I love that. <laughs> Curls on its own with his hair. Receive and I send back to you, Miss Tracy. Thank you, Dawn's Light. All right. Oh good, Terrica. Oh, you're gonna love it. So oh, I don't have my crystals near me. You must get a crystal. You must get a crystal. I don't care what kind of crystal, get a crystal because it's crystal uh, healing energy that we're going to use this time. All right. Yes, we love it. Oh, yes, yes. I love ice. Ice is like facts. <laughs> Y'all got to get confident like ice. Ice is like, girl. <laughs> Y'all got to get confident like my guy, Ice. I love it. All right. Crystals, listen, I'm a big personality, right? You don't need, where's my other crystal, by the way? That other little piece of crystal, I would get upset. I don't see it. You don't need a big crystal, but I have a big personality, right? And big personality people need big shit. This isn't even big enough, but whew, so pretty. I love crystals. This is an aura light, right? That I got from um, at Tiffany Intuition, whose name has changed to Esquibo. Esquibo uh, Gems. Let me see if I can put it up here so you guys can see it. And she has her sale. Oh, no, don't do that. She told me earlier. So let me get back up here. Sale coming on this Friday. All right. This is an aura light I got weeks ago. It is absolutely my favorite stone. I brought my son two of them. But I had no idea I was purchasing two of them for him. I purchased one, carried it, but I must have purchased one and sent it. And so when I get over there, I think I'm doing some great, like, hey, look what I got you. And he already had one from me. So now I guess it doesn't really matter. This is Aura Light. All right. Aura Light. So Esquibo Gems, join Esquibo, E-S-S-E-Q-U-I-B-O Gems. Hi, Bryn. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Shit, and it's pride. I'm a proud gay woman. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell by your picture. I'm sorry. I started, started to be careful, and then, fuck it. I did not mean to call you out. So I hope you, you didn't take it that way. But I was looking at your picture. But um, Ice is a proud gay woman. So she's still confident in herself. She don't give a fuck. Get like Ice. 
Isn't it gorgeous? And thank you, Ice, for talking to me. I'm so sorry. No harm. No harm. Thank you. Um, so, changing on Friday. What do you mean? Oh, you're changing on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Well, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're changing at Tiffany Intuition is going to be, if you join today, go to at Tiffany Intuition, um, right? At Tiffany Intuition, but by Friday, she's changing it to Escribo Gems, which has something to do with her family or something like that, right, Tiffany? All right. You all one day, let's go. You all one one day, let's go. What does that mean, nonchalant? I hope you're not telling me what to do. I get very upset with that. If you're not telling me what to do, don't tell me what to do. Get very upset. Oh, I do have big energy today, but it's okay. Um Oh, okay. Thank you, nonchalant. Thank you, because I get real. Like, do you want to see the exorcist come out in me? Lord, tell me what to do. I mean, any, anybody. Whew, zero to 60 head turns like this. I mean, anywhere out in the world. You know what? Let me tell you something. Okay, we got to talk, right? I'm going to pull the cards, but we got to talk. So. Caribbeans don't know that they have attitude. They don't know it. As much as polite they are, right? I'm going around, I'm like, hi, hi. They don't say that, right? They say, good morning, good afternoon. And I was like, oh, nobody says hi, right? It's cultural differences. Oh, they don't say hi, good morning. Good. I don't care where you're at. Good morning, good afternoon is a standard here, right? Which I love, right? Love, respect. However, my Caribbean girls got black girl attitude. I don't care how you slice it. I said to one woman, I think she was joking. And so I was like, I have to swallow it. But we were talking about something on Sunday and I was like, you, um, did your churches open? And they said, yes. And I said, oh, your church is open? And she goes, yeah. And I go, oh, we didn't open our churches quite so much. You know, like we're still trying to figure all of that out. And she goes, they need to open. I told her I was from California. And she goes, they need to open over there. And I was like, um, stop. But I was in her lands. I was like, oh, Tracy, don't go off. Like, that's their impression of us. Just wusa, wusa, wusa. And then yesterday, I went to the store, Kmart. There's a Kmart here. All right, I cannot. So I went to K. I cannot. Kmart is lower than Walmart, and y'all know how much I love Walmart. <laughs> I love me some Walmart. <laughs> when I go to visit my son, and they live right down the block to Walmart for a week, I'm like, can we just go to Walmart? That's my activity for the day. Oh, it doesn't matter. In any case, I say I need to return something, and the woman goes behind the muffle of her mask. She was like, blah, 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 blah. And I said, so what do I do? Do I go get the replacement and then come back? I didn't say it like that. No, I said, so what do I do? Do I go get the replacement and come back? She takes down her mask and she begins to yell at me. I said, and I was like, oh, no, no, don't, don't do that. I just, I was like, don't, don't do that. I will become Caribbean on your ass in a minute. 
You want Caribbean? You want Caribbean? It's in my blood. Don't treat me like I'm an American over there. I will go off. They said, don't. Don't do that. All right. But this is their country. This is their land. And I have to give full respect. <laughs> uh, religion is very important over here. Very important. Tiffany, Tiffany, Ice says she needs crystals. Tiffany, t listen to me, Ice. At Tiffany Intuition this Friday. So join her because by Friday she's changing the name to Esquibo Gems. Esqui Hold on a second. S S E Quibo Quibo Gems. I love, by the way, Tiffany. I love Esquibol gems. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Sound like my grandma. This was a young woman. If it was a grandma, I might have been like, oh, it wasn't. A, it, it was a young woman, younger than me. And you, people can't tell my age, right? They they could tell that there might be something different about me, but they can't call me out. So, but I can call them out. I know exactly what ages they are. And so I was like, uh, hi, Queen, Queen Rosewater. I like that name, Queen Rosewater. Gotcha. Look people head to toe before taking your oxygen. <laughs> That's Caribbean style. I said to a lady, I went to order. Every place I go has a menu. Every place. Why is this place different? Playing loud music and your ass don't have memos, me menus. So I go and I was like, um, can I have a menu? To the young girl who was facing me and the woman next to her pointed to the food that was um, foggy, right? It was like from the heat. So the, it, it was, and she goes, that's the menu, pointing to the food. But I, I want to be able to say to her, okay, so I, I don't know the food. And so just me looking at it doesn't help. I'm looking for Kalalu. I'm looking for conch soup. Like I'm looking for things, but I can't tell her that because she just made me feel stupid. So I was like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> That's the menu. Write out a menu. All right, I'm in their land. I'm the, I'm in their territory. So we are gonna be nice. I'm in their land. <laughs> Tiffany, this is the suffering I'm going through. <laughs> okay, so I'll tell you one more thing, right? Because women like to be jealous, right? But they don't know that they're being jealous. I know it because I'm sensitive, right? So what you guys don't know is that I have the thickest thighs and the prettiest legs ever. I brag, fuck it. It's true. It's true, Dory. It's true. So I don't have regular people's legs. I really have voluptuous legs. Really. I'm not kidding. And so when I walk around, the eyes are all on me. I know this. Right? I've been dealing with this all my life. So, and so sometimes the women like look and immediately get mad, immediately. And it's like, yeah, I don't want your husband. I can't help the body that I have. They're just, they're voluptuous. Thank you, God. I can't help it. Even though they're all dimpled up, like people never see the right things. I'm like, if you really look, they got dimples. If you really want to be jealous, don't be. It's dimpled up. <laughs> All right, I'm over myself. <laughs> Was yesterday a strange communication day? The ghetto cooking show? What happened? <laughs> oh, oh, I got to eat something. Fuck it, thick dive saves life. <laughs> 
Ice is like, walk in it. Right. I have no choice. I have no choice. I have no choice. So, sorry. Sorry. This is an American blood, by the way. This is true and true Caribbean, although my dad is from the South. So, who knows what I got between the two people. Hi, Misha. Hi, sweetie. Misha, do me a favor. Send me your um, your link. I know you probably sent it to me before. Send it again. I just want to buy something from you, please. All right. I like to hear like that. Thank you. Thank you, Ainana. Thank you. I'm trying, trying. All right. Enough already. I stepped out to go to the store and people were just on some serious BS. Ran back home. Shut the curtains. <laughs> Didn't answer the phone and was like, fuck you, Reggie <laughs> I got you. <laughs> that is so funny. All right. Who needs to hear the message for the day? Can you guys see the message for the day? Let's do VDMX. Who needs to hear the message for the day? All right. Let's take. I really want you over here. Who was I kidding? Take charge in action. Have I not been saying that all day today? It's always so funny. Take charge and action. What a great card. Take charge and action. Uh, 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 element of PQRS. Hi, Julie. Hi, Tiffany. I am DeAndre. What's me? The Ghetto Cooking Show. What's me? I must have missed something. Did I say something? And y'all are responding me? Take charge and action. Okay. Don't be afraid to take charge or be strong at this time. Sometimes we have to take control in order to be respected or honored. If you feel that your current situation is moving in a direction that isn't serving your joy or isn't serving you or your purpose, the message of this card is to put your foot down. Now, you don't have to be aggressive, but you do need to you do need clarity and unless you step in it won't unfold. So, set an example and respect yourself rather than be led. Didn't I start out this way? Oh, thank you, Leela. Oh, I actually need to hear the message today and everybody said me. <laughs> set an example rather than be led. If you're wondering whether to make the next move in a particular situation, like Tiffany has, changing her name to a much better name. I love this name. It is a business name, Tiffany. And I absolutely love it. If you've been wondering whether to make the next move in a particular situation, this card encourages you to do so. Often angels find it difficult to support us unless we make the first move. What's that old saying? God helps those who help themselves. Have you heard that lately? Remember, some of us grew up on that. God helps those who help themselves. So you just might as well get started. Um, often angels find it difficult to support us fully unless we make the first move. Meet your angels halfway now, by showing your commitment to moving forward. Who needs to hear this? Who needs to hear this? You're welcome, Tiffany. Jeffrey, thank you for saying I look beautiful. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yo, I'm getting old, so you got one option. Compete against the young girls. That's Oh, yes. 
know, I got to be relevant with the young girls. Yes. I did. Thank you. If you're feeling ambitious at this time, this card is asking you to trust in your gifts and potentiality. You have the opportunity to move forward in your career, your personal life, and your spiritual life. Really, your spiritual life is everything. If you have your spiritual growth, your career, your family, all of that will flow. All right. You are a co-creator with God, a co-creator with the universe, and your angel guide is encouraging you to co-create and to take action now. By setting clear intentions, remember we talked about this yesterday and I was like, I want to live here and I'm going to look for a two bedroom and then I changed my mind. I said, no, I'm going to look for a three bedroom at a reasonable price, like really, really reasonable, like really, really reasonable. But I'm not afraid to state my case. Doesn't mean I'm going to get what God wants me to get. What it means is that I put it out there for God to hear me. In my last place, I was very, very specific. I said I needed a gated community with security and management, and I needed a terrace, right? It was my last community. Um, and I needed to be on the first floor. I had five major things. I got everything but the first floor. And I've been happy in that place for going on six years now. Be specific. You are co-created with the universe and your angel guide is encouraging you to co-create and take action. By setting clear intentions and having a strong vision, nothing better than a strong vision. Everybody that is successful had strong visions. Everything begins as a thought. Remember that, not as an action, as a thought. Have a strong vision and then taking the action steps you need to make your ideas come to life. Who needs to write that book? Who? Who needs to start their own business? You are showing the universe your commitment to your expansion. Know that every step you take, your angels are with you. That's the key. You're not alone. Your angels got you. Do you understand that? I told everyone, I almost wound up in a car accident. I don't expect to be in a car accident. You know what I expect? For my angels to watch over me so that I was not in a car accident. Do you understand that? But I ask them for help. I don't get in my car without praying first. Seriously. I don't get in my car to rush to work. I don't get in my car to rush to get no hamburger meat from the store or toilet paper. Every time I get in my car, I take a moment to adjust and I envision angels in front of me and angels on the side of me. And I say, I'm scared. And they drive on the opposite road over here. And just what I pray for now is to be of sound mind. That's what I pray for. Everybody else is fine. I'm the fucked up one. So I just go, God, let me be of sound mind. Please always help me to remember the left, the left, the left. But I say that because I'm talking to God. I'm thanking Jesus in the end. And I already envisioned my angels, just the front of the car, surrounding me. And I trust when I, when I envision that, I already trust that they're actually already there. It might sound crazy, but it works, right? And spiritual people know it works, all right? 
And so when I almost went head on with somebody else, which I feel so bad about, oh, that poor man, his whole family full of, <sighs> that's what I feel bad about. I feel bad about being so ignorant in somebody else's land. That's what I feel bad about, but it is what it is. I just hope he's okay. Cause I really, I know I fucked up, I'm sorry. But again, there's, I have expectations of being okay. I wound up, I know I talk a lot, I'm really sorry. I wound up in a full blown accident um, just before the COVID, four people in my car, nobody got hurt. Why? Because I don't expect us to get hurt because I had already shielded the car. Nobody got hurt. Car was total. Nobody got hurt. Oh, I am Deandra. Lyrics, yes. I, if I say books, you say song. Lyrics, it works for me. It don't sound crazy. Thank you, at Deandra. Thank you. Damn right. I love Ice. Ice is like, girl, please. Ice is on everything. You on 100. Because you already know. I wonder what's special about you, Ice, because you already know. I like the ones that know. Mm-hmm. I like the ones that had to get there in spite of. What did I say? I'm a gay woman. I already know the struggles. All right? And she still came out confident. You still can't change her. Hmm. Right. All right. Let me read the last part of it. Make sure I got everything. Know that with every step, you take your angels are with you, cheerleading, cheerleading you, encouraging you to rise up. Rise up. Focus your intentions and send it out like an arrow. Rise up for you. Don't worry about other people's bonnets, you trifling asses. Rise up for you. Speak of kindness. Take charge. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> did I read the wrong one? Hey guys, did I read the wrong one? Where's the take charge? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> did I did I show? <laughs> wait. No, I know. I I had take charge in action. I just must have. <laughs> Confuse them. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Y'all trying to learn from a very ditzy woman. Oh, Miss Steph, you're never late. Never. Never. Go back and watch it. No one's ever late with me. Ever. Where's the card that said take charge? <laughs> Did you guys actually see take charge? Why is it so far down? Or did it say, take a step back? Lord have mercy. But well, we going with take, take charge. I showed this one, right? Did I show this one or did I show this one? I can't remember. I'll look back on it myself. It's crazy. I'm so crazy. Y'all listening to a lady that is crazy. <laughs> oh, I pray for traveling mercy every time I crank the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could you go further than just traveling mercy? Can you dig a little deeper? I am Deandra. Can you really state what you want? Like go deep, go deep, go ask God to let you like speak more on it. Traveling mercy is a cliche and I hate cliches. Right. Oh, it was this card. It was this card, right? You sure? <laughs> Can you go a little bit more? Because when you say, I pray for traveling mercy, you're assuming that they know what you're talking about. You're assuming, and in the spiritual world, you don't assume. You literally have to say, I would like to arrive at Kmart safely. I would like to get home safely. You know what I say? 
this is going to sound a little crazy, but I also say keep all bad drivers away from me. <laughs> I'm the bad driver, but I, I always say that. <laughs> Make it call out everything, everything, every little detail, because that's how you know you're praying. You're praying when you commit to more words. That's when you know you're praying. All right. What does yes mean? Nonchalant and ice. What is yes? I probably said something. You both, you both said yes. I don't know what I said. I talk too fast. That's what I think. I talk too fast. All right, guys. Please. Anybody needs a reading, I'm here for you. I'm going to get up out of here. I have not eaten. It's already 11 o'clock. Now I'm thinking I should just eat lunch. I have not eaten breakfast, which is not healthy for me. It makes me eat more, but I won't eat more. I've been eating healthy. I always say, keep me in a drivers around me alert and protected. Yeah, I like that. That works. I like that a lot. All right, guys, I'm going to come back later to do Chrissy Teigen and her high again apology tour. To see why she's back. All right. All right, guys, I love you all. I wait. Oh, by the way, I finished my Britney Spears effort. Took me about five or six months, but. I did it, I said till June, and we did it, and we did it during the eclipse, and I didn't even know it was gonna be an eclipse. I am so proud of myself. Remember the other thing that makes sense in your personal development with the angels and with God and with Jesus, help others, help others. Remember that. Oh, the ghetto cooking show. Oh, I was gonna do, I didn't do Erica Mena yet. I didn't do her yet. Because the baby's not ready to come. And I just want to see if she's going to let Sarah Fee in. Who's a fan of Sarah Fee? I know I'm not, but that's just me. I know y'all like to put down Erica Mena, but Sarah Fee, he's a pickle, I think. But that's just me. I don't. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> y'all just like to put down other women. Another pretty women. That's what I think. That's what I think. Don't beat me up. I just look and I see the world and I'm like, mm, is that a jealousy thing? You know? All right. Hi, Patsy. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, like, leave a comment. I love comments. And I love you all. <laughs> The ghetto cookie show thing. Tracy, I can't stand neither one of them. I know. I know. They're both messy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. I am out of here. Love you. YouTube, as always. I love you. I love you. I love you. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Tracy Brown, Tracy Brown. Tracy Brown Live. Tracy Brown Live.